Hey, hey, hey. It's Craig with the Pacific Northwest Sasquatch Research Group. Thanks for joining me. I'm out here on the east side of the bridge, and I drove down this long, long road right here, as you can see, and it goes that way for about six miles, and I'm way down here all by myself, and I brought my camper van and my dog Ruby. I got a little fire going. I got getting ready to cook some food, and I'm doing a test. I brought my sound system right up there. I'm just playing music to see if I can draw in a Sasquatch. And I got the idea from Bobo and Cliff Brockman from Finding Bigfoot. Thought I'd give it a try. But, uh, you know. I had some reports, and uh, it's not the first time a Sasquatch has been seen out here. So, let's go over here and just see how long, how far away we can go and hear the music. Campgrounds right there. I can still hear it. That's Joe Bonamassa rocking out. Well, I can still hear it. There's a road that goes that way. Uh, let's go down there and see. Still hear it? Way over there. I can still hear it. Yeah. Still can hear it. Yeah, when I get back to the car, I'm gonna cook me some pasta. I brought some pesto, got the fire going, got my pan. I'm gonna throw down a little steak, cook that first, cut it up, throw it in with the pasta sauce, and mix it up with some, uh, some tortellini, stuffed tortellini I brought. Should be pretty good. I can barely hear it. But, boy, this is some squatchy territory here. Huckleberry bushes all over. And uh, just really dense. You know, a lot of trees. A lot of old growth. So I went across that bridge and um, there was a seed farm here back in the 60s and the 50s. I can barely hear it, still. Well, I'm just gonna go down here and see what this road's like down here. <laughs> I brought some beers, watch me. I'll get back to the van and all the beers are gone. Mr. Squatch came out here and boy, they bottomed out right there. Big time bottom out. I just never been down here. Sorry, I'm wearing my my sandals and they're flopping. So I guess I could have drove my van back into here. 
Well, I might stay three days, just depends. Um, see what happens tonight. But not expecting too much. Well, this road ends right here. It's where people turn around. So the river's over there. It was so crowded by the river, I couldn't find any spots. And when I got here, I looked up and down this road. There's a spot that me and Brent are gonna go and do this overnight. There's a shell. There's a whole bunch of shells. This looks like nine millimeters. Well, I hate that. People just litter, you know. I really want to get up to Mount Baker. That's where I had my audio vocalization shooting a TV pilot. And uh, it was about 11 o'clock at night and we're in the DOT turnaround for the snow plows. 11 o'clock at night shooting a night scene. I'm gonna do that tonight too. I'm just gonna put my camera out, point it up at the stars. It's gonna be crystal clear. You can see the blue sky. But uh, no clouds. Oh, well, there's one. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? As soon as I say that, there's a cloud. But, uh, yeah. It's supposed to be pretty clear. Just one tiny cloud right there. Oh, but... So the audio vocalizations um, happened at the DOT turnaround parking lot where the snow plows turn around and they clear the uh, Glacier Baker Road right there. And um, 11 o'clock at night, five people in the crew were set up getting the gear ready and I, people were poking fun about me because I do research. So I said, oh, I'm gonna go over in the corner and scream really loud and see if I get a vocalization back. So I went over there, I did the scream, didn't hear anything, came back to the group and they all were teasing me and stuff again about this, you know, Sasquatch and that'll never work, but yada, yada, yada. And sure enough, about 10 minutes later, we got a giant scream. And I wish I would have had a recording of it because it was cool. It sounded like the Ohio one and then the Kentucky one that I just heard recently on my channel. I, it was posted on YouTube, so I went ahead and posted it up on the Pacific Northwest Sasquatch Research Group. Be sure to listen to it. And uh, we're right over there. Joe Bonamassa. He's a good guitar player. Plays all different kinds of music. Played with Eric Clapton, B.B. King. Inspired by Stevie Ray Vaughan. But... We're back. The CD's almost done. Here's the before. New hat. And the after. Hey, hey. It's Craig. Pacific Northwest Sasquatch Research Group. Out here. 
and it's getting close to dusk. Made it out here down that long, long road. That's west. And uh, came all the way down here to check it out. Do some uh, Bobo and uh, Cliff Barockman from Finding Bigfoot did this where they played music and tried to draw the Sasquatches in. So I'm doing a little car camping. This is where it happened. Actually went across that bridge. I'll film that on the way out tomorrow so you can see where I went. Um, but this is all the way out here. And I drove the Squatch van. It's getting fixed up. I don't know if you can see the inside. Let me open this. You really can't see in there. But I'm just sleeping up there. That folds down, that it folds this way. And you climb up in here and under there. And I got these cool curtains. You can untie these and they fall down so you can't see in. Um, I'm gonna get a new top. They got they make these new three window one. So there will be a window here, and a window there, and a window on that side. That'll be really cool. I gotta shut this, there's a lot of mosquitoes out. Yeah, but up here in the Pacific Northwest, we've got these big bugs, horse flies, mosquitoes. I got some food cooking. There we go. Got that at QFC today. Buy one, get one free. But, uh, Ruby's gonna get a little bit of that. Let me flip this. Oh yeah. This is gonna be medium rare. I gotta get some steak uh, barbecue sauce and put that on there. Okay. When it gets uh, dark, I'll turn on. I got lights and stuff, so um, let me get that all set up and I'll be right back with you. Thanks for joining me. Check that out. There's something over there. My dog's going crazy. Go get it. So that's the cool thing about my dog. She is a tracker. What is it? Let's go get it. Come on. Might be a Sasquatch. And I know they don't like dogs. music off for a while and put the camera on the woods. I'm going to zoom in. I got this really good camera. Go back there. What is it? Let's go get him.
the dog just marked right there. <laughs> And uh, let me go get the dog and turn the van off. I just stopped to record a little bit, but might as well do this with her so she doesn't whine. Okay, well I was down this road about six to eight miles, somewhere right around there. I didn't look at the odometer, but it took a while to get back up this road. And uh, it's really beautiful out here. There's no one out here. Actually, I have never been up this road and I'm gonna ask Brent about it. He might know, he's been all over out here. But look at these beautiful, Old man's beard up in the trees. Giant red cedar right back there. That tree right there. There's some more right back in there. And let's go over here and look at this creek. It's flowing pretty hard. You know, last night I was campfiring and I didn't have the camera on, but I definitely thought I heard either coyotes or who knows what. But something was screaming in the mountains and I was playing music, as you know. So it's kind of hard to tell what it was. I'm gonna have to come back again. No music next time. You know, I've always wanted to like hike along the creek riverbeds up, uh, you know, bring some waterproof shoes in the summertime and just walk up a river. Um, the sound of the river is masking your noise if you're quiet. Um, and the river's not too deep, like as you can see here, it's gonna be really cold, so, but it's absolutely beautiful out here. Look at the old man's beard here. Stunning.
great fire starter. You just grab a bunch of that. Um, if you get it close enough to the tree and it's raining, it's still dry, and you can use that for your fire starter. Just grab a whole bunch of it. Um, look at that giant red cedar that had fallen over. That's really old. This is an old growth area. But uh, old man's beard is all over here. All right, well, we're heading back. So on the way out, I'm seeing salmon berries right here. There's some salmon berries. And I picked a whole bunch of huckleberries this morning and I saw raspberries. So plenty of food out here. The road is got a few potholes especially this one's not too bad this is across the bridge where the report was and you can see all these really old trees out here Right up in that area where the mountain goes down, I was over that way, probably 12 miles, 14 miles, somewhere around there. But it sure is beautiful out here. Cloudy day, warm. That'd be a good area to, some mud flats right over in there to walk and look for prints. There's a few on this side right here. Definitely a whole bunch right down in there. But, uh, this is a really great river. Forward to coming back and camping.